What's going on everyone, Havoc here. This is going to be my last update video on the Legion Go since it seems that the majority of the hiccups that plagued the device initially have almost all been worked out or will be worked out in the upcoming couple updates. So I'm going to include the whole roadmap here and you can keep an eye out for these. First off, we've got new graphics drivers which include native integer scaling and I'll add the link below to that. After you've installed that, once you go into the Adrenaline app, you will see that on the gaming page under display, it will show integer scaling and you can toggle that on or off. Next up is what's going to be included in the BIOS V29 update, along with Legion Space update version 1.0.2.6. These are expected to be rolling out within the next 3 weeks or so. So for BIOS V29, we're looking at getting support for auto VRAM selection, which is great because we won't have to go and adjust it ourselves and can rely on the device to do it for us. Custom fan optimization, which has been something that the community has been asking for the most, and charge limiting to help with longevity of the battery. For Legion Space update version 1.0.2.6, we're going to be getting driver and BIOS update integration so we can do all of it from one area rather than going to multiple different apps to update it. We're also going to get an FPS limiter which will include the ability to toggle it on or off or lock the frame rate. We also have dead zone settings for the left trigger and right trigger, custom fan curve settings which goes hand in hand with the BIOS, and the ability to restore joystick response curve and dead zone settings to default. We already have dead zone settings for the joysticks which is great. Ability to turn off the power LED so if you don't want to see that red light you can just turn that off and the option to set up sleep duration of controllers to preserve battery life. Key customization and mapping, which is another thing that the community has been very vocal in getting. And we already have an option for switching the left and right legion buttons for select and start, which feels so much more natural to press rather than clicking them on the bottom left. And lastly, there was also a recent update to the controller firmware. In case you downloaded it and you don't know what it actually did, or maybe you haven't gotten it yet, here's a breakdown of what that covers. It fixes the unsynchronized lighting effects between the left and right controllers. It also fixes a bug where the left controller lighting wasn't turning off and would constantly stay on. It improves the speed of lighting effects from switching from the right menu. Optimized trackpad palm rejection. And it added a power key light switch interface, trigger dead zone interface, and a sleep timing interface. All of which are meant to be used in a future update and are not available today. So the reason the BIOS and the Legion Space versions are going to be rolling out together and a little bit slowly is because there's multiple teams working on getting all of these things in order because one thing goes hand in hand with the other if you make a change in the legion space update it also has to be reflected in the bios that's why it's taking some time to put these out but anyway it's still great news for all legion go owners and i'm looking forward to seeing these updates in action that's all for this video thanks for watching have a count